Hey there, today we're going to go over a brief overview of the appendicular skeleton, which consists of your upper and lower limbs that are appended to your axial skeleton. The sternum for your upper appendicular skeleton and your sacrum for your lower appendicular skeleton. And there's the obvious arms and legs, but also the girdles, which they attach to. The upper limbs are attached to the axial skeleton through the pectoral girdle, whereas the pelvic girdle secures the lower limbs. So the upper and lower limbs differ in their function, but they're going to share the same basic structural plan. The shoulder joint attaches the arm to the scapula, and the hip joint connects the thigh to the hip bone. And then the arm and thigh each have a large single bone, which distally are going to be attached to two relatively thinner bones. So for the upper limb, this attachment of arm and forearm occurs at the elbow joint. And for the lower limb, the attachment of the thigh and leg occurs at the knee joint. These are the proximal attachment for these two smaller bones of their respective limbs. At their distal end, these bones will connect with the bones of the hands and feet to form the wrist and ankle joints. So the hand consists of eight carpal bones. The foot consists of seven tarsal bones. The hand has five metacarpal bones and the foot has five metatarsal bones. For both, the five digits are made up of 12 phalanges, which conveniently all have similar names. So the hands and feet, and in general, the upper and lower limbs all share this similar overall organization, although they do differ in their functions. Much of it has to do with the fact that for upright bipedal creatures like ourselves, the lower limbs are supporting the weight of the body while standing and moving the body. For us humans, we're masters of physically manipulating the world around us as opposed to our four-legged friends. So the pectoral girdle and upper limbs are really all about the hands, extending and moving them, getting them in the right place to do their handiwork. So these are the individual bones. Next lecture, we're going to go over those bones and look at some of the important features of those bones. See you next time.